and welcome to Smoke Training. In this part 7 of the Connect Effects series, we'll show you the different modes available when creating Connect Effects on the timeline. We'll explore the different effect creation modes and check out a handy tip for removing Connect Effects and restoring your timeline. When using the Connect Effects workflow in Smoke 2013, you need to be aware of the various modes available to you when you initially create the effect. Depending on what you have selected in the timeline when creating Connect Effects will change the options that are available to you in the Effect pop-up menu. The default method, as we've seen in previous episodes of Smoke Training, is to select the clip in the timeline, then press Control tab to initiate the Add Effects pop-up menu. By clicking on the Create Connect Effects button, the clip is sent to the Connect Effects workspace. Applying Connect Effects in this manner gives you a blank canvas ready to create and apply visual effects using the Connect Effects node bin. Back on the timeline, let's take a look at the next mode of applying Connect Effects. If you already have basic timeline effects added to a shot, when you go to apply Connect Effects, you now have a new option available to you. Underneath the Create Connect Effects button, click the box next to Generate Composite. Now when you click the Create Connect Effects button, Smoke will take the existing timeline effects and convert them to the appropriate nodes inside of Connect Effects. The final mode of creating Connect Effects is the process called Generate Adjustment Segment. If we select a shot on our timeline and check the box next to Generate Adjustment Segment, we are taken through to Connect Effects. We can see our shot in the workspace, however this time it has been labelled Backclip here in the Connect Effects node flow. What this means is that we can now apply effects to what is effectively a copy of our clip, if you like, and anything that gets added here in Connect Effects to help create our composite does not affect the original clip on the timeline. Let's head back to the timeline to show you what I mean. Here we can see our Connect Effects has been created as a new segment over the top of our existing shot. This has been created as a smoke gap effect, or you may know it as an adjustment layer from other systems. As we move the timeline focus between the layers, we can see our original shot is still unaffected beneath. As a simple example, let's apply a blend mode using the Axis Timeline effect to the newly created Connect Effects adjustment segment. The creative possibilities of adjustment layers are endless. For further information about adjustment layers in Smoke 2013, check out episode 14 of Smoke Training. Here's one last tip when creating Connect Effects with Smoke 2013. If you select multiple items in the timeline and click Create Connect Effects, the option to generate composite is already selected. This, as we saw earlier, recreates our effect inside Connect Effects using all the required nodes. If we want to step back to the original stack of layers in our timeline, select the Connect Effects segment and now from the Effect menu area above, choose Remove Connect Effects and Recover Stack. That brings to a close part 7 of this series, introducing Smoke 2013's visual effects compositing environment, Connect Effects. Thank you for watching. In our next episode, we'll look at a useful method of saving a series of Connect Effects nodes so they can be easily restored and used over and over again without spending time recreating effects you use most often.